Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another episode of the show. I'm Zenas. And I'm Juliet. It's nice to see you guys again. Let's look at what is coming up in the show. We'll be telling you about the grand debate that took place yesterday at the city auditorium. We'll also be talking about the court issue that has now been resolved, whether Sunny Day should take over as president. Also, we'll be giving you an exclusive look into the vice chancellor's residence. And later, we'll tell you about the contestants for Miss She Has 2022. It's Saturday, the 16th of July. Welcome to another show. Welcome to the show. It was a nice program yesterday. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. I enjoyed uh, His Excellency's dance. Mm, everyone, everyone was talking about the dance. But yes, uh, yesterday, uh, Grand Delva took place at the City Auditorium, which is part of the Investive 10th Anniversary. We saw solidarity messages. Right, so we'll be telling you a lot more about the Grand Delva, but you are still watching Good Morning You Us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. If you haven't yet liked it, make sure to like and share it to your friends. Thank you, Facebook subscribers. Okay, so going back to the debate that happened yesterday. Yeah. How was your experience? Oh, it was a nice experience. I saw all of the auditorium was not filled to capacity. I mean, the choir was there. Some students who felt it, it was important to go to the event, they went there. So it was a nice event. It was nice. So let's take a look at some of the memorable moments from that event. The Times Higher Education Impact Rankings 2022 in the SDG 3 category in Ghana. From humble beginnings, as we have been told, U.S. now boasts of a student population of some 7,688 spread across seven schools and having a staff population of some 891. U.S. has come a long way and undoubtedly it has become bigger than was envisaged, attracting international attention and recognition for the achievement of excellence. Congratulations are very much in order, U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, when I came here to cut the soil for phase two of the expansion project to start, I did so in recognition of the fact that in spite of the initial infrastructural development bequeathed to the university, it was obvious that more needed to be done if it was to be able to deliver effectively on its mandate. Upon my instruction, the Ministers for Education and Finance working together with the management of the university on the request made by the Vice Chancellor, Professor John Ousu Japan, secured funding to the tune of $60 million from the Chinese government. The government and the people of Ghana are grateful. And, and we were saying earlier about the president's dance. Yes. I think that was it. And the moment he, stand up to, he stood up to speak, everybody was giving him funds and all that. Yeah. yeah um, it was, it was, and, and the, he smiled when they kick up. <laughs> yes, there was also the cutting of the, the anniversary cake. cake. I don't yeah. know how we are going to get our share or how the student body is going to get their the share. But there was an anniversary cake because the university is celebrating 10 years of existence. And, well, yeah. and we have the registrar and it's very beautiful. Yeah, hey, she, she, was, she was a wonderful MC for yeah. the event. And also the incoming Vice Chancellor, Professor Lydia Asiato, was, was also at the event. Yeah. yeah. So, and even all the incoming three ladies, the director of work, um, the incoming registrar also was present. Yes. At the so it was a nice ceremony. So you can head to our YouTube page at US Base TV and you can watch the full events there. If you have well, moving on, we're going to talk about the elections. Yes, elections. So finally, the court issue has been resolved after all this time. Yeah. So now that it has been resolved, we are like, what's going on? What's up next? Because it has been confirmed Almost, yeah. that Sunny Days is to be president. We already have an acting president and the academic year is almost over. So we spoke we spoke to some people to find out what, what they, they think, think about it. So let's yeah. take a look at that video. I think um, somehow it's necessary and then somehow he being elected at this moment is not necessary. Um, it's not necessary because we barely have um, two months left for the turn out of 2021, 2022 um, presidency to end. Yeah. Yes. So, um, he being let out of this moment wouldn't 
do anything for us he can't even do anything for us because i can't remember his manifesto and all the things he wanted to do for us yeah within these two months i don't think he can do anything for us and then um i remember watching a video of um, your interview with mr queen Hagan. he also said he had some things in line for us so i think we should wait for him and bring up all that he wanted to do he wants to do for us because it's barely too okay. i would say it's nice and it's necessary but in some aspects so it's not that necessary the reason not being necessary is that uh, it's left about two or three months for them to end their kind of right yeah so he being elected he can't do much to help us because there was an acting one already so he will be probably doing something but because he coming in for two months he said a lot during his manifesto and then i, I don't think he can as well well um i was reading the constitution last week and it states that when when there is an acting president and you get an elected president you have five days to leave office. Okay. So what it means is that the current acting president had five days to leave office. But this will make uh, Sunny just one of the shortest seven presidents, like for a very short time. Because once you have a president, election issues, they're going to open nominations, debate, elections, oh, and we'll get a new president. Yeah, so very it's so short. He won't even get to do much. Yeah, but let's much. see what some oh, yeah. comments so some people some have. Comment. Okay, so from Amabonzi, she says, I'm really happy for him and he deserves it. Okay, mm. then someone is saying they are just wasting the guy's time. I should reject it, Kwa. <laughs> like, he should reject it. You know, they are well, just wasting time. Because he has day, so even many. Even if it's for one day, you if, you'll still. If it's for one day, you can put it SRC in his. President. Exactly. But still, he yeah. can't get to do all the promises that he, he had, the plans that he had. Couldn't. Someone was just saying <laughs> he should just go by the flow. Yeah, so, so those are the comments. So let us know in the comment section what you think about it. Is it too late? Is it too early? Yeah. If it were to be you, what would you have done? done. Yeah. So uh, you are still with Good Money US. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Good Morning You. As we are talking about the Miss You Has 2022. Now, last week Sunday, the contestants for this year's Miss You Has have been released. Let's take a look at the ladies. Twelve ladies this time. The unveiling, the unveiling ceremony was was, was very nice. And the yes. ladies are beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very very tough. Only out of those twelve ladies, just one person would become Miss You Has 2022. And I, I don't know. All of them by names, but I do recall some of the names. I remember mm -hmm. Pamela. Um, I, I remember like, Mariam. Okay. And um, I think there's a son too. Angie. There. I remember Angie. She's in Nezeta. Yeah, Nezeta. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it, won't, it won't be fair to the other ladies who don't know their name, but you can go oh. check our YouTube page. And then, <laughs> yes, and then go check our YouTube page just, and yeah. support them in the vote, like, Instagram, just help them. Your best con whoever you want to win, yeah. support them, they'll win. And, and, and at the end of it, there'll oh. be a grand program, the Miss She Has Grand Finale, where the ladies will come and show off and see judges who decide who will become the best of them. And so, Keep watching that out. We'll bring it to you live here on You Have Space. Yeah, and oh, I like the talent time where they show their talent. Exactly. Some dance and some sang beautiful. Some acted too. Yeah. It was it was very nice. The audition was nice. You should check that out. All too soon we are getting to the end yeah. of the show. But before that, we are going to take some shout outs in. Exactly, the shout out <laughs> moment. Okay. So this is um um from an anonymous person to he said shout outs to Ewusi Nana, Dietetics Level 400. Shout out to Dietetics Level 300, Deborah, course rep, because if I don't say this. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank, eh, Frank, course rep of Dietetics Level 300. Then shout out to Gessam from your president, Mark Noel, Dietetics Level 300. And shout out, oh, a happy belated birthday to Jude Obuobi. <laughs> and Ms. Minister Chris from Michael Akuka. BMB level 300 and shout out to me from dear US. <laughs> <laughs> happy happy birthday in advance to me. Yeah, thank you. Your birthday. Thank happy you. birthday in advance. Yes. Well, uh, that is how we are going to wrap up this week's episode of okay. Good Morning. You are coming to you from the main campus of the university. When I talk about the main campus, like it's a nice people come in that we're exaggerating that it's not really nice, but it's a really nice oh, place. Who so said that? It's nice. Someone's telling me. So we're coming to you from the main campus. campus. 
of the University of Hilton and I say thank you for watching. Yes, and please make sure to like, share, subscribe, share, subscribe. Thank you. See you guys next time. Peace out.